What's going on? Welcome to Fearless Friday. Today I want to talk about being the chooser. What does it mean to be the chooser? To be the chooser, it means to go for the girls that you actually like and talk to those girls solely. A problem with a lot of the guys in these communities is they have low self-esteem and they have low self-value, so they don't feel like they could ever have these type of girls. So I want to talk a little bit about value before we jump into the exercise I want you guys to do this week that's going to help you get better with visualizing yourself becoming the chooser and then ultimately becoming the chooser, okay? So talking about value really quick. Value is a funny thing, especially in the red pill community or in the pickup community, because they'll tell you that, oh, you need to be of a certain value to have this type of girl, or this girl's a certain value, this girl's out of your league, this girl's a 10 out of da da da, 10 out of 10, whatever, or you put her on a scale or a pedestal. That's the problem with the community, is that we're placing people on pedestals and so we're losing the sense that these people are equal to us, which they completely are because they piss, bleed, and poop the same as we do. They put the shoe on one foot at a time, just like we do. They're no different than we are. But we have this conflict where we feel like they're up here, they know more than we do, they're smarter than we are, they're wittier than we are, they're more confident than we are. There's no way I can go talk to a girl like this. Okay, and that's complete BS. As long as we have that mindset in place, they will always be difficult to talk to. It's not until you get to a point where you can start seeing them as equal that you will start to shift this area of your life. I remember when it shifted for me and I started to realize that I was talking to girls who were up there on the scale, theoretically, as if they were just girls that I may not have been attracted to. And I noticed, I was like, okay, these girls are laughing, they're enjoying me. There's no difference in this than it is with the girl I'm normally comfortable with talking to. And I was like, oh, that's really funny because I'm not doing anything different. I'm just being more of myself. And this is what this is all about. How do we get you to be more of yourself, more of your more of your relaxed, comfortable, confident self in the midst of a girl who's hypothetically higher on the scale or high value, which is completely bogus. There's no such thing as higher value. Everybody's the same. And the minute you start to realize that, the quicker you'll start to shift in that area, okay? so. That whole value system, it's creating this thing, it's creating this, this distance between you and this person, and it's making you act unnatural when you're in front of them. So maybe you're not being your relaxed self, you're not opening up, you're not cracking the jokes that you wanna crack, and you are more or less closing up and then going into your head or thinking about ways you can manipulate the situation to make it work to your advantage versus just being who you are, realizing that the girl will like you for who you are if you can just calm down and relax and then use your masculine skills that you already have, which is grounding, leadership, containing, creating a bubble, right? That whole thing, um, which we all have in us, which is very innate in men that we're not allowing ourselves to realize because again, there's this whole value conflict, this whole mindset that's out there that's really screwing us up when it comes to that kind of thing. So what I wanna do this week is I want you guys to focus on one, visualizing your girl of preference. What kind of girl do you see yourself with? Not what kind of girl can you get? What kind of girl do you see yourself with? Maybe this girl's out of your league a little bit. Hypothetically, she's out of your league, which she's never, she, she isn't really, but in our heads and in our bodies, we feel like that, right? What does she look like? Right? Is she the kind of is she the curvy Latina that you want? Is she the beautiful blonde girl with the blue eyes? Is she the sweet girl next door? Is she the nerdy Asian girl, right? The the the, the Japanese girl who wears scoop girl outfits, the cosplay kind of stuff. Like, you know, what are you into? Like that kind of thing. Could you visualize what she actually looks like to you? And how does it feel to you when you imagine this girl? Does your body want to tighten up and close off, or do you just want to dismiss it right away because you're like, oh, I can't have a girl like that? right notice that kind of stuff because that's showing up in your life that's actually creating the difficulties that are that you're probably dealing with when it comes to getting the girls that you want now what i want you to start to do is start to visualize that girl and join you right visualize her messaging you calling you trying to set up dates with you wanting to come over hang out with you wanting to come over netflix and chill with you wanting to cuddle with you kissing on you all the time what does that feel like in your body does that feel good or does that feel again like it's very difficult and you can't have that and I want you to start to focus on that. I want you to take about maybe 10 minute or 15 minute, almost a meditative imagination practice where you, for a split second in your body, you visualize what that feels like to you. 
right? Maybe it makes you nervous because she's so hot and she's coming over and you're like, I don't know what she wants to do with a guy like me, right? So that kind of thing. Or maybe you start to tap into it like, yeah, of course. Yeah, I would definitely love this girl to come over and cuddle with me, right? And it makes you feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. And so you actually start to smile and, you, and your body tingles and your heart opens a lot. So that when you start to go out in the real world and start approaching, when you see these type of girls that you actually are more interested in, your, your preference girl, that when you see her, you actually get excited and you're more like, okay, yeah, I can definitely go there and talk to her. I don't feel as scared as I used to feel about it, okay? So this weekend is very simple. Just focus on imagining the girl preference, okay? I want you guys to ultimately become the chooser and the way that you do this is that you have to start to get to that place where you feel like you guys are equal. She's not above you and you're not below her. You guys are both equal. The minute that you find that equilibrium, that's when the sparks will fly. That's when you'll start to be more of your natural confident self. And that's when you will find yourself applying all the tools that we teach here in Fearless, which again is the leading, the grounding, the containing, the being the masculine, right? Creating the bubble, being a little more fun, free, open, and then maybe a little bit more flirtatious, sexual, touching more. Um, and that stuff should always come naturally because it's already in you as a male. You already know how to do that. You just gotta get out of your own way, get out of your head. So again, this weekend we'll keep it very simple. Just focus on that. What I want you guys to do also is put that in the comments. And I, well, I gotta say this too, I love the comments that I saw in the last video. A lot of you guys are actually out doing it and you guys, the grounding video specifically, I love that one. Um, I love it, how you guys are chiming in and I'm seeing that you guys are benefiting from it. I'm seeing the questions that you guys have with it. Same for this exercise, put in the comments how it's making you feel in your body as you visualize this girl. What does this girl look like for you? How does it make you feel to know that she wants to hang out with you Right? Maybe she's reaching out to you more than you're reaching out to her, right? Just kind of put that in the comments and let us know how that's working for you. And um, we'll go ahead and jump into our next series of videos, which is going to be you going out and actually doing the practice of talking to these type of girls exclusively um, in different ways, like indirectly or directly as we go forward. But for now, just focus on the visualization part of it, okay? I would like to say even use your journal on this one if you can. You know, journal what these visualizations are like for you. Over the next three days, the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, are you noticing your visualizations get easier, they get lighter, something's actually opening up inside versus is it getting harder to visualize this and your body's getting tighter and it's getting harder to visualize it because maybe there's a lot of fear around having a girl like that. We want to get all that fear out around that so you can actually start to be your natural self in front of these type of women, okay? So guys, remember, hit the like and subscribe button so you can get these videos every Friday that are coming out. I'll be on the channel more often, sharing my journey with you, but also giving you guys ways to accelerate your growth and approaching. I love this stuff and I love to see you guys shine. So hit like and subscribe. And remember guys, only the confident really live.